Hello there everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are doing well and taking care of yourselves and finding some special dedicated time to just do the things that make you so happy. Do the things that you love to do. Today I thought I would make a video showing you guys how to properly hold a pair of shears, scissors. Um, for those of you who do not know, I went to college a few years back and graduated. Um, I got my cosmetology license. So um, the school I went, the school that I went to, was a very, very strict school. They went into very precise detail over every little thing. Um, we specialized in not only cutting hair, but we did hair color, hair treatment, uh, hair styling. We also did makeup, we did skin care, we did massage, we did like the whole spa side of, um, you know, being a cosmetologist. So, you know, I've learned a lot about facials and um, pedicures, mani manicures, doing nails, just tons of stuff. It was about a year and a half program and um, I learned a lot. I did. I learned an extreme amount of really good stuff. Um, by the way, I am making this in the afternoon time. It's kind of hard to find time to make videos lately just with social distancing. Everybody is kind of at home right now, but then there's other people that are outside trying to still have a fun time. So hopefully you enjoy that little background ambience of kids playing outside and stuff. They're not being too loud, so hopefully you cannot hear them, but if you can, just, um, hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, I also wanted to make this a soft-spoken video just because I've been doing a lot of really close-up whispers only. So I did want to do a bit of a more soft spoken. So for those of you that enjoy that, I hope you I hope you like this video. Um I'll start by showing you my new shears. Now I just recently got these about a month or two ago. Um I got these from a store called Sally. Accidentally called it Sally's the last time I made a video about it and a few people corrected me in the comments which thank you because you know I don't pay attention to like you know proper stuff I just never really have I've never really cared to <laughs> but you know um, I do want to sound as professional as I can so thank you guys for always letting me know when I say something Sally, that is S-A-L-L-Y. Um, I feel so weird saying, <laughs> saying it like that, just because, uh, anytime there's a store, uh, the name of the store, like, for, for instance, take the store Aldi. I don't call it Aldi. I can't. I call it Aldi's, you know. myself and say that if you were out looking for beauty supplies, it's not Sally's. It's Sally. It's a really cool store. They sell all kinds of stuff. You can get nail polish there. You can get makeup stuff. You can get salon equipment even. They have shampoo bowls there and stuff as well. So, so first of all, the case that these came in was really neat. It's almost, uh, like it's floating in there, but there's these two little thin plastic, almost like saran wrap pieces, uh, sealing it together in there. So I really like the case. Now this set did not come with uh, texturizing shears, or a lot of people call them thinning shears. Uh, at my school we were made to call them texturizing shears just because our mature clients, our older guests, if they heard the word 
thinning, you know, the last thing um, elderly clients want is thinner hair, so we would always have to call it texturizing just to kind of take that image out of their head. Um, and I got a few questions from just several different people asking me about thinning shears, texturizing shears, what they do. Um, depending on the texture of your hair personally, they can really make it lay well, uh, especially if you have curly hair. If you get a if you get a hairdresser that really knows what they're doing and how to um, cut it properly in the right spots, it'll really make your curls stand out more. Um, so, just different things like that. I like to thin my hair uh, every once in a while, just because. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just open this up and take the scissors out. Now, those of you that are just trying to um, kind of learn as you go or you're like self-teaching yourself, that's totally fine. I think you can learn a ton just by watching tutorials and stuff like that. Um, I personally cut my friends and family's hair sometimes and my experience was from watching other people do it and doing it myself. You know, nothing came out of textbooks or anything. You know, it's very hands-on experience. So, um, there's a wrong way to hold them and there's a right way. So I'm going to show you the right way first. That way we can get that across. Okay. So, if you have a pair of scissors, you're always going to have this little notch here. And that little notch is for your pinky to rest upon. So, this is the proper way how to hold a pair of scissors. Now, of course, if you were left-handed, it would be different. I'm holding them with my right hand. Um, I'll go ahead and try to switch it to the other one. It's going to feel strange for me. But same thing on the other hand. Um, pinky goes here. Your ring finger goes right there. And there's a little notch for your middle finger and your pointer finger. Okay? And then, of course, your thumb goes down in this hole. So I'm just going to hold them with my right hand because it feels better. It feels more comfortable. So, when I was first starting to learn how to cut hair and hold them the proper way, this felt very strange to me just because I always used to having scissors um, kind of like this, especially in school when I'd be cutting paper or wrapping presents and have to cut wrapping paper, you know. So, um, you know, it, this always felt very normal, you know. So once I started training myself to hold it like this, it feels very natural and it feels almost weird to go back to this, so... So just another tip, really quickly, it's very easy to want to slide your thumb all the way through your thumb hole, okay? But that's not good, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's going to give you less control. See, if I open my hand all the way comfortably, it's only going at this kind of acute angle, okay? So if you just take your thumb out just a little bit, Watch how much more control you have, okay? You can open it a lot bigger, okay? More like a right angle instead of just that little back and forth acute, 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 okay? So that's just another thing to keep in mind, and that's also going to prevent your hand from, you know, cramping a lot more. So just definitely practice that and see how you feel. really quick. I don't want to leave anything out before I move on to all the wrong ways uh, to hold it. Let's see. So, I guess, um, I guess the other wrong way would be to put your pointer finger through and your thumb, and you're just going to have these, oh, 
we're just gonna have these little fingers, um, you know, hanging out here and not really having anywhere to go. So you're not gonna have as much control. I mean, I guess it can work, but you're not gonna have nearly as much control as this, okay? So I hope that was able to help some of you. I've gotten so many questions over the last couple of years, ever since I did that first haircut video about, you know, um, haircut tips. So I think I'm gonna start doing little videos on haircut tips, so if you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to do it. I think I'm going to make a video uh, showing you guys how to cut palm to palm, okay? It's very simple. Uh, when I first started school, though, it sounded very complicated to me and very technical and stuff, so, so I look forward to doing more of these little hair cutting tutorials and stuff, so be sure to let me know what you think, and if you have any questions about how to hold your shit shears the right way, just let me know, and I'll try to help you guys out in the comments, okay? So, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, I hope you feel more relaxed than when you first came.